guys, my name is Aller at Little Star Nerd on Instagram and welcome to today's episode of I Am Tired. I didn't really properly intro the video, so I'm just really quick gonna say we're just having a chill sit down video. I'm gonna be packaging orders from my recently opened shop and I'm gonna answer some questions from you guys. I promise we're gonna get back to real art content soon. Uh, bear with me. Uh, but first, let's take a quick moment to talk about this fancy chair back here. The company Killaby was super nice and sent me their fancy gaming chair to try out for them. Uh, this is the 9015 series in the color gray. It also comes in pink and I think black and it's really comfortable. So let's talk about it. This chair costs $165, but I do have a coupon code down below for you guys. It's 10% off. So you can click that if you want to check this chair out. It's like I said, so comfortable. It has like a massage thing, a foot rest. It reclines 160 degrees. <laughs> Thing has it all I'm telling you it's so nice I have some really really bad neck and back pain that comes from years and years and years and years of sitting over like desks and hunching over artwork and sometimes it's literally so painful that I can't sit for longer than like 30 minutes at a time and get anything done and this chair is like built to support your like upper like shoulders your back your neck and oh my god it's amazing it's a godsend i can't tell you like how helpful it has been in just sitting for long periods of time and drawing when i'm here doing my sit down like drawing videos it is so much more comfortable oh my god obviously i don't do much gaming on this channel i don't do any gaming on this channel and i don't really game in real life either every once in a while i play some sims and mainly i play stardew valley love me some stardew valley but i do sit for hours at a time doing pieces of artwork that i can't walk away from and uh, i can tell you that it gets painful and this chair has been really helpful so if you sit for a long time if you game if you have neck or back pain uh, you might want to check out this chair recommend so thanks, Killaby, for sending me this chair. I will treasure it always. Let's jump into the video. Okay. Get ready to hear a bunch of creepy chair noises. You're welcome. Um, so today we're going to be doing uh, packaging orders together. You're going to keep me company while I package a bunch of orders. And also, a Q&A. Before we get started though, I have two things I want to say. First of all, thank you so much if you ordered from my shop. Like, it was so overwhelming. I cannot tell you how anxious and nervous I was to launch it. I've been putting it off for years and like I kept putting it off like another week, another week. This year, because I was just like, I don't want to deal with the reality that it could flop. I can't even tell you like how nervous I was. So the fact that it went super well, I am so appreciative. I'm so grateful. I don't even have the words. Thank you so much. Um, I'm really excited to like ship these and send them to you. Some people are already getting things. Some things are already sold out. It's crazy. I'm just so excited. We're fine. <laughs> I was like, oh God, is the audio recording? Uh, second of all, I did talk about this on my Instagram, um, but I did get a job. So if for like the next month, things are kind of slow in terms of getting out content, uh, that's why I think it's going to take me a minute to adjust to a full-time job schedule. I'm used to quarantine sleep, which is like 10 hours a night and waking up super late. So it's going to be a huge adjustment. I'm sure I'm going to be tired for a while. Uh, and so if things are slow while I get used to this new schedule, that's why. But I promise I will stick to around the same amount of art that I'm doing now. I had a few people DMing me on this year like, oh my god, don't quit art. I'm not. I'm not. I don't know why you would think that. I'm not. I'm going to still do this. Um, but if it's slow, just be patient with me. Um, all right, let's do the first order. Caitlin, a patron. Love you, boo. Let's, let's do this. What is the biggest? I don't, I'm like really bad at this. I constantly get nervous. Um, also, we're going to talk about my job because that's a couple of the questions that I got were about my job. The job that I got is I'm currently studying to be a mortician at my local community college. No, it's not a community college. It's like just a state, like a small college. Um, I got a job at as an administrative assistant at a local funeral home, local-ish. So it's a really good opportunity. I'm really excited. It's not exactly what I want to be doing, but it's close enough that it's like relevant and I get to like learn things. And I was invited to go like watch some of the embalmings. So I'm really excited. They said that they would help me with like school and stuff. So I am super excited. Um, but it is just gonna, I'm also like in the morning period of like 
losing all of my free time. Um, but so that's what it is. A lot of people were DMing me like, oh, like what should I announce it? Like I got the job. Um, they're like, oh my gosh, what is it? And I was like, oh, it's at a funeral home. They're like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm not doing anything in art, which I think is what people were expecting. But, um, oh, we're out of that one. I'm doing mortician stuff. Um, 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 I'm already bad at this. Okay, so now we need a manatee print. Another one of the questions that I got a lot of were my thoughts on the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Don't be mad at me, but I haven't watched it and I don't know if I'm going to. He, I know people are going to be so... I know I talk about how much I love Bucky and I do. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love Bucky. I'm just like not ready for the emotional toll that this is going to take on me. I love Sam. Hashtag my Captain America. It's going to be so sad and I know it's going to be sad. And also like I just don't care about Marvel. Like I hate Marvel. Straight up hate Marvel. At least MCU. Hate it. Don't don't like it at all. Um, and I don't really want to support them. And like I don't know. I mean I, not that I don't want to support them. I just like they suck. And they keep whitewashing and straight washing and I'm really sick of it. Stop. If I do watch it, I'll probably wait till they all come out so I can binge watch it. Binge watch it. It just, I know it's going to make me sad. Wow, this is like so much stuff. Thanks, Caitlin. You're the best. All right, let's, we put it in our glassine, glycine bag. Let's wrap it up in tissue paper. And then, since you left me a note, I'm going to leave you a little note. And then we'll package that up and then we'll move on to the next one. I went to the Ringling Museum. Literally, it's so pretty. And like, I know, like, okay. <laughs> I've never been a huge fan of Art Deco. Or like the 20s era. Like, I've never gotten like the Great Gatsby obsession. But, oh my God, going there, I get it. If you ever hear me say I was born in the wrong era, I specifically mean that I should have been Sean Ringling in the 1920s. His mansion, they had this huge, it's on the Sarasota Bay. Like, it's on the water and it was so beautiful and it looks very art deco and i was just imagining like like imagine like a 20s party there like a glamorized like obviously like i don't i'm sure not everything was great but just in that like oh my god it just seems so cool we didn't go inside the building because that costs a lot of money but we went through the art museum and it was just so pretty okay where's the top oh no nope we're good okay and then I need a big envelope. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? I'm not. This is fine. And then I'm going to like print all the lab labels later because it'll be a lot of getting up and down. So I'm just going to put the name on the order. I think I know your last name, right? And then I'll print it out later. Okay. Let's get another question, shall we? Oh, the next one is just a sticker. That's good. It'll just go in an envelope. The next question, how old were you when you came out determined you weren't straight? Oh, oh, okay. When I deter, okay, looking back, I should have known from like the age of like eight. I was, oh my gosh, like I should have known. I look back and it's like, girl, you are so gay. You are so gay. Uh, like, oh my God. Um, but I didn't like know no until... Well, I had suspicions in middle school, um, and I didn't really come out as I came out as bi to Hannah, my best friend who you met in the October vlog, when I was 15. It's really scary, even though, like, it's literally, oh, wrong color. It's literally, like, Hannah. Like, we, like, I did not use to worry, but it's still really scary. So I came out to her when I was 15 as bisexual, and I didn't really know that I was, like, gay until college i guess and then i came out about a, a little over a year ago to my family over text that was really scary even though i didn't really need to be worried um oh someone bought something as a gift that's so cute also i got a lot of international orders which is really exciting um but yeah okay next up danny uh oh this is a gift so hopefully you don't watch my videos no you don't know who you are it's fine Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, we got a big one. We got a big one. I'm really surprised that the big ones sold way more and like, like, I mean, I 
ordered way less stock of the really big ones, like the eight by tens. Um, but they went, they sold out fast. So I guess when I restock, I should focus more on the big ones and the small ones. Okay, next question. Why do you like Sebastian Stan so much? Honestly, I don't. I, I like him a lot for his face. I'm objectifying Sebastian Stan. As I should. Just kidding. You shouldn't objectify anyone. Oh, good. Okay. Um, and then I think the second half of that question is, do I ship him with Steve or Sam? Um, I, I think I've made it clear who I ship him with. I definitely, like, I think the dynamic between Steve and, is, and Bucky is adorable. But I absolutely get why people ship him with Sam, and I support you if you do. In case you're wondering, this tissue paper that I'm using, it's from my No Issue collaboration. Collaboration? Where I could just, like, design my tissue paper. That's where it's from, if you're wondering. A few people are like, oh, can I buy it? And I was like, no. But you can order from my shop, and I can send it to you. All right, let's see. Let's see. We need a big one. Oh, am I going to run out of big envelopes? How many big envelopes do I need? One. Two. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. That was going to run out. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Next order and next question. How do you gouache? Okay. Um, so great question. <laughs> loaded, loaded question. That's a big question. How do I art? The question, the, the, I don't know. I did a class type thing through Sketchy. I'll link, I'll leave the information down below because it's like a $50 class, but it's with like 30 other artists and it's super cool. Super fun. It's real time footage of watching different gouache and watercolor artists doing their stuff and doing portraits. And it's really um, educational. <coughs> Cut that out. That's gross. I know a lot of people wanted, like, have been asking me about that, about how I do gouache. So I think I might make a, like, educational type how to video type thing and sell it kind of cheap somewhere for you guys. If you'd be interested, let me know. How many more orders do we have? We don't have that many. I did like, I got a lot of orders. I was shocked. And I did a lot of them the other day because I was running out of time. What do you think of the first episode of Falcon and Winter Soldier? Didn't watch it. Aside from your anime phase, are there any other drawings you went, are there any other phases you went through with drawing? I don't know if there are any like, there are definitely trends that I went through, but nothing as obvious and like substantial as my anime phase. Um, and certainly nothing as influential. Oh, another manatee one. Would you say you had to go to art school to be a good artist? No. Um, I didn't go to art school. And I think I'm a good artist. So I'm a good artist. <laughs> Trash on the floor. Do you remember... <laughs> Do you remember when American Idol was actually good and there's that guy who came on and he was like, pants on the ground, pants on the ground, looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. Sometimes I think about that. Liv, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Let's, oh, you got stickers. She ordered stuff and she didn't even need to. Like, Kelly, you literally could just ask me and I would have at any time given it to you, but that's fine. I love you and I appreciate you. But it's just so fun, like, seeing my friends buy stuff. Okay, IRL friends. Every once in a while, you guys will do things to, like, let me, like, to support me in some way. And every time it warms my heart so much, whether it's, like, responding to my stories or, I don't know, like, commenting on video, like, it just, uh, it just makes me so happy. Okay, sorry. Anyways. Instead of saying thanks, Liv, I'm just gonna go, bro, because you're my bro. Can you tell me I'm gay? <laughs> what, like, degradingly? Like, what am I saying? So tell me I'm gay, LMAO. I love your content so much. T just tell me I'm gay? Well, you ordered the two really gay things. Caitlin? K-A-T-E-L? Kate? K-A-T-E-L-Y-N, Caitlin. You're hella gay. So the summer before college, I, throughout AP art, I had a bunch of wonderful friends who were 
amazing layers in AP art and they were all just amazing at art. Like they were so talented, so skilled, ambitious. A lot of them were applying to art schools and I was just kind of there. And my entire life, I, I was born with some natural like skip talent. I was born with some natural talent and runs in my family, but I wasn't like just gifted from day one. But I had been able my entire life to skate by and just like, oh, everyone knows that like I'm so good at art. Then I got to AP art and I saw people who actually had skill, not just talent, but skill that they had developed and worked on and practiced at. And I paled in comparison. And um, it wasn't until after high school that I finally was like, you know what, if these people can do it, like, I want to do it. Like, I, I want to be able to be as good as them. And I found some amazing artists on Instagram. And I was so inspired that I was like, okay, I have to actually practice. Practiced. Past tense. I have to actually practice. And I started actually using my sketchbook for something other than the assignments given to me in art class. And I started drawing, like, every day. And... That's when I started to actually get better. Oh my gosh, this person ordered a Bucky. Okay, listen. Guys, listen. This, favorite favorite piece I've drawn, favorite piece I've drawn, Bucky. This Bucky piece, I'm obsessed with. And I haven't sold them any, which is fine. It's part of this launch was figuring out what would sell and what wouldn't. And it's fine that this doesn't sell. However, I am personally mortally offended. Please buy this. It's beautiful and it's Bucky. Just saying. You guys are slacking. <laughs> these two things I did in the past few weeks. I don't know if these are in focus. I really have no idea where the camera is focused. I could be out of focus this whole time. That'd be fun. Um, I really like... Oh, that's covered in dark hair. That's fun. Um, I really like these. Okay. What was it like? Okay, we'll answer like one more. And I'll probably wrap it up. So I can print all these labels and stuff. What was it like coming out to your family? Big question. Okay. What was it like coming out to your family? My sister, like, already knew. I don't know how she found my, um, my Instagram, but she was like, well, it's, like, it's obvious from your Instagram. I was like, okay. Um, but, and she's also like, also, you were never subtle. <laughs> and I guess I had always been trying to drop hints to, like, Test the waters as you do. Um, for my parents. <laughs> Sorry, let me write this name. Hold on. Coming out to my parents. So I did it over text. Like I said before, I did it over text. And it was really nerve. I knew, logically, I knew that it would be fine. They had never done anything like you know like a lot of conservative white people they expressed some opinions that didn't always make me feel the most excited to come out um but I knew that they would love me no matter what and that I didn't really have to worry but it was still super scary and like my heart was like pounding telling them um but they I don't think my mom even texted back Cause I think she already knew. I think I might have already like told her. I think I told her that I was asexual. I used to identify as asexual when I was in college. And about halfway through college, I settled on lesbian. Lesbian feels the most correct as of now. And so I told them that I was like gay, gay. And I think my mom had been holding out hope that like I still like guys in some way. Sorry, mom. Um, Lainey, another patron. What's up, bro? Um, and then I, I don't know, but my dad called me and he like <laughs> started like, I don't, I don't think, I think he might have cried like a little bit. He was like, I'm proud of you and I love you no matter what. Um, and then now I have a gay flag out in the yard that my dad gets a real kick out of in a good way. Like he, he likes it. Uh, he always thinks it's funny whenever someone comments on it. And, uh. Things are good. Things are fine. It's fun just being able to be like, I'm gay. And like, no one is like, whoa, what? <laughs> um, as for like extended family in Florida, we moved to Florida, obviously, a while ago. And so we live with a lot of extended family now, like in the same town, not like with, um, who are 
pretty darn conservative. And I didn't come out, come out, but like it's on my Instagram, like my personal Instagram. And my bio is just gay. <laughs> and, you know, we have the pride flag out now. And no one's ever said anything to me. People seem pretty, ch like, no one's like mad about, it. like, obviously, even if they would be, like, I literally would not care. But um, I think mainly, like, my family, like, not, doesn't find it funny, like, a mean way, but just gets a kick out of, like, ah, oh, nice kind of way. Um, even though, you know, some of them are darn conservative but it's fine it was fine like it was not emotionally traumatizing or scarring like i made it through if you're trying to come up to your family you'll make it through too you got this it can definitely be scary but it's worth it it's just so nice to just like <laughs> be openly gay <laughs> it's such a relief it never bothered me before it, like i didn't realize how much it bothered me until i came out and i was like able to just be out you know what i mean you know what i mean I'm going to finish up these last, like, three orders. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me and packaging with me. I hope that it was in focus at some point. And I hope you had fun, and thank you for watching. And um, if there's some stuff up in my store, you should go check it out so we can get all this stock out of there so I can put new stuff up. Check out my Patreon, check out Instagram, whatever, whatever, whatever. Leave comments down below about whatever you want, whatever, 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 yada, yada. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Go water your plants. Go make your bed. Wipe down your stuff. Wash your hands. Uh, go do some art.